fluid statics. The second unit is about surface tension. So this starts with molecules. That's about force of cohesion, force of adhesion, molecular range, and the fourth is sphere of influence. This briefly has to know the force that existing between the molecules of any fluid. Cohesive force, adhesive force, molecular range, and sphere of influence. I come to detail later. The second part to understand this is about the second unit is about the surface energy. This is nothing but surface area into surface tension. So its applications concerned, we have to deal with work done in forming a soap bubble or liquid drop or work done in blowing it. Same soap bubble or liquid drop. Third, work done in changing the surface area of the drop or soap bubble. Or work done in breaking with drop into young small drops or work done in forming a big drop from n small drops. So these are the most important questions coming in this section on surface energy. The relations I come later, but whenever the questions comes on forming a bubble, liquid drop, or soap bubble, or it has some size, we have to increase the size of the bubble or decrease the size. Again, take the number of small drops to form a big drop, what is the work done? Or if you have a big drop, you have to break into n small drops, what is the work done? Where the energy absorbs or energy releases and what the amount of temperature changes. All can be understood with the help of this part called as surface energy. But surface energy and other details are come later. About the third is surface tension. Surface tension depending factors. Number one and number two about its applications. And then coming to the angle of contact for the liquid that wet the surface or for the liquid that do not wet the surface and coming to capillarity form or rise in of liquid in a capillary and its applications. This is the second unit together taken as a surface tension starting with force between the molecules of any liquid then coming to the surface energy concept surface tension angle of contact and capillarity. But the problems, rather than problems here, more theoretical questions appears. Only about the formation of bubbles or work done in forming or breaking the liquid drops or bigger drop forming, 
the problems may come from this unit in NEET examination. Coming to this details about the molecular force. Force of cohesion and force of adhesion. Force of cohesion is the force between two similar molecules. For example, we take it as a radial. In case of adhesion, it is a solid. When we take the molecule, it has ability to attract the nearby molecule and this attractive force may be called as cohesive or adhesive. If the molecules are similar type, it is cohesion. Example we taken welding. Because of localized heating about between the two plates, they join together by melting process and rejoining them and cooling them. There is no other agent present in between them. But when we go to the soldering case, any electrical components with electrodes when we soldering, we switch some other material to join them. We are not melting the electrodes. So that is the concept of adhesion. Like adhesive gums we are using to join the papers. So molecular range, the second concept here, is maximum distance up to which a molecule can influence the another molecule. This is about 10 power minus 9 meter. Sphere of influence is the sphere within which the molecule can exert a force on any other molecule. Force of attraction, it is purely attractive force. As the distance goes on increases, force goes on increases. After this molecular range or a sphere, you cannot have influence of these other molecules on this, uh, this molecule on the others. Within this, it has a force and attracts the nearby molecules. This leading to the concept of surface energy. When we talk about surface energy, so that is when we take a liquid in a container, different molecules are found at different heights because of positioning. So when we consider the surface molecule, in terms of physics to say, that this molecule is raised against the gravity to a height edge to stay at the surface. A work is done against gravity to locate this molecule at the surface of the liquid. This extra work done is called as a potential energy. Potential energy is nothing but surface energy it becomes. But again if I consider any molecule Sphere of influence if you thought of, if you see the surface, one molecule, the various other molecules are having attractive force or those molecules are calling this molecule to come in. At the same time, there are other molecules which is of that of the A molecule. If you resolve these components on the surface along the tangent, the force of cohesion is more stronger than force of adhesion. Because of this, it has an attractive force on the surface of the liquid with the neighbors. A tangential force comes into play totally by all molecules. One another is in contact and a membrane-like structure is forming, a thin membrane and appears to be almost touched one, which we define later as a surface tension. So why this happens, we can jokes in the class that about, suppose if all the students are made to stand on the parapet wall of this building, maybe the worst enemy, they hold the hand of the neighbor. Why? Because the condition is, if I fall, you have to hold me. Or if you are falling, I hold you. If at this situation, survival question. Like molecules also want to survive with their friends, not with the others. Therefore, there is a tangential force which makes them to be in contact with each other. And that makes a stretching force to appear. 
and that energy that the surface has is called as a surface energy. Potential energy or this surface energy per area, per area of the surface is defined as surface tension. Surface energy per area or surface potential energy per area. However, when we go to the application part, application part, work done in forming a soap bubble, for example. Work done in forming a soap bubble. Surface tension is surface energy by area. Surface energy is nothing but work done, which makes work done is equal. Surface tension, if I mention with letter T, then area of the soap bubble. Soap bubble has two areas, one inside area and outside. Together we take 2 into 4 pi r, if it's a radius, 4 pi r square, then I can write 8 pi r square T is the work done in forming a soap bubble. Similarly, if you want to know about work done in forming a liquid drop, then it has only one surface area free with respect to air and therefore I can write it is equal to 4 pi r square t. Work done in forming a soap bubble and work done in forming a liquid Coming to the third, work done in blowing is bubble, so bubble. This if you take 8 pi t r2 square minus r1 square. Earlier it has the radius r1. Now new radius may be r2. Work done in increasing the surface area is nothing but the difference of the two area. Additional work done is 8 pi t into r2 minus r1 square. If it is for the liquid drop, then work done is equal to 4 pi t into r2 square minus r1 square. So another is work done in breaking a big drop of radius r into n small drops of radius r if you want to know this 4 pi t present earlier it has a radius r square now n into r square is a relation 4 pi t n r square minus r square appears to be. In this case what happens actually is when we break the big drop into small drop area increases. When the area increases of all drops area if together you take them the area is more compared to the area of a single drop and area increases there is an absorption of energy. When energy absorbed from the surrounding, the surrounding become cool. That is what we are seeing when a big drop is broken into small drops of water. We see there is a cooling effect. If we take our mouth into water, we cannot feel cold. When we gush the water to our surface, we face uh, cooling. We feel cooling because the big water drop is broken into small parts and every drop is uh, absorbing heat from the surface and we feel coolness or even in functions at the entry of a hall they keep some sprinklers we feel cool or nearby waterfalls always temperature is less compared to other places the very reason is water drops are broken into smaller one when they break into smaller one the, they absorb the heat energy and keep the surrounding temperature cool and our temperature decreases amount of what the temperature decreases we can take it so the falling temperature when big drop is broken into small 
is given by Trinity by J S whole into 1 by R minus 1 by capital R. Here T refers to surface tension. J refers to the Joule's constant and S is specific heat of liquid, rho density of the liquid. This gives how much temperature is decreased by breaking the big drop into smaller one. At the same time, if you take this second, work done in forming a big drop of radius r from n small drops of radius r. This is equal to 4 pi t, no difference, same relations, n r square minus r square. It can also be written as 4 pi t r cube into 1 by r minus 1 by r. Another I tell you, the bigger radius, big drop radius is equal to n to the power of 1 by 3 into radius of the smaller drop. Because when we fuse under mechanical forces, the radius of the bigger drop equal to n to the power of 1 by 3 r. Condition is volume of big drop is equal to volume of n small drops. If you use that relation 4 by 3 pi r cube, here n into 4 by 3 pi r cube. When you find that relation, you will get r equal to n to the power of 1 by 3 r. Various places you have to use this in different chapters. Radius of bigger to smaller drop relation. So here, in this case, in this case, the area decreases. When the area decreases, there is a release of energy from the system take place. Surrounding become hot. When Bundi, Bundi Lado is constructed, then the palms are found to be very warm. Why? The reason is this. As when the small drops are fused into a bigger one, the, the total area of the bigger drop becomes less than that of the altogether area of small drops. That makes there is a release of energy according to law of conservation of energy and the surrounding that heat is released and surrounding become hot. With this let come to the concept of surface tension. So now however we come to know surface tension. One way we define that surface energy per area or potential energy per area. On the other side force per unit length, tangential force or it is liquid surface, if you draw a line parallel to the liquid surface, there is a stretching force on either directions. That tangential force per unit length drawn on the surface of the liquid is considered as a surface tension that can be obtained from this. And it is SI unit is Newton per meter. Dimensionally, if you go m, m power 0, d power minus 2 and majorly the dependence factors if you observe as the temperature increases as temperature increases surface tension of liquid decreases cohesive force decreases surface tension decreases again adding impurities adding impurities into the liquid decreases the surface tension. Addition of impurities and rising of temperature both decrease the surface tension. Therefore, it is easy to always if you want to mix the other substances into water, we heat the water to reduce the surface tension that cohesive forces decrease and thereby other substances may be dissolved or made soluble in water. 
Similarly, addition of impurities decrease the surface tension. To clean our cloths and utensils, we just not use water to take off the dust collected on the water or utensil. We add soap, soap, soap to create a soap solution. When we added impurity like soap powder, the surface tension decreases and dust particle will cleanse to the water molecules. And as the water goes out, along with that, the dust particle also moves out and our utensils or cloth will be cleaned as per this consideration. That means adding of impurities or temperature increase, both will decrease the surface tension of any liquid. And now the applications that force need to pull a body out of liquid surface. Number one, if you take to pull out a thin wire of the length L, force necessary is force per unit length we take as surface tension. If the wire is of length L, force is acting on either side when it is lying on the liquid surface. Total length become 2L into T is the necessary force to pull that out of the liquid surface. Similarly for a square frame of length L. When you take a square frame outside 4L and inside also 4L together is total length become 8L outside length and inside length and then the total force necessary is become 8L at the same time if you take for a square lamina lamina means thin plate of length L this become just 4L because inside surface is C and only outside surface the length total circumference that will total length become 4L into T. Similarly, if you can take this for a circular disc of radius R to pull it out 2 pi R into T if it is a circular disc of radius R. Suppose if it is a ring for a ring then force will be equal to 2 pi t into r2 minus r1 if it is the ring of this type inside is r outside is r1 outside is r2 2 pi r t R2 plus R1 plus R. If R2 and R1 negligible, then it becomes 4 by D R. If R1 approximated to R2, then R1 plus R2 equal to 2R. In total it becomes 4 by D R. We taken some standard shapes and the relation for force to pull them out of the liquid surface. Maybe any other. If you know the total length of the material lying on the surface, first know the total length, multiply it by surface tension, gives you the necessary force. We given three shapes, one is a thin wire, and other is a frame or a lamina, square frame or a lamina, or a circular disc or a ring. Three standard shapes. We can go to any shape, know the total length, know the surface tension of liquid, Product of that gives you the force necessary to pull it out of the given liquid.